Buenos dias and welcome back to another video my friends. A feature that the Canon EOS R has is Dual Pixel RAW. Dual Pixel RAW, as stated in the name, is a RAW file format. And it's not just any RAW file format, it actually takes two consecutive pictures, I don't know why I have my hands up, <laughs> but two consecutive pictures and it essentially creates two identical images with different exposure values. For those of you that aren't familiar or not that familiar with RAW files, they essentially allow you to collect more data in the file so that you can manipulate it later in post or in editing. So if you'd like to start shooting RAW, check your camera's menu system and you can go from there and select whether you want JPEG plus RAW, RAW only, or just JPEG only, or a combination thereof. More specifically in the Canon EOS R on your LCD screen, go ahead and click on the red menu, also known as the shoot menu, and select the first line item, which is image quality. Go ahead and set your file format to RAW. Go ahead and exit that part of the menu and click on dual pixel RAW and enable it. So now on the back of your LCD screen, you should see the bold letters DPR in white. But in order to take advantage of Dual Pixel RAW's images, you have to download Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4, which can be found at their website. Go ahead and look down below in the description. I have a link to get you started there. And believe me, we are not sponsored by Canon. It'd be nice. All right, let's go ahead and download Digital Photo Professional 4. Click on the big red download button. Then it's going to ask you to put in your serial number for your camera. It's on the bottom of your camera. Click submit and you're off to the races. You will get a zip file. Go ahead and unzip that file. Open the file. Select your region. Click OK to start downloading. Click yes and agree to the terms. Then the file will be downloaded and click next. And you're all finished. Now let's go ahead and open the software. So this is what the interface looks like. Go ahead and load up your SD card or your files. So for example, I have my card listed over here to the left. Click on the down arrow, click on the down arrow for DCIM. You will have the Canon EOS R and it will load whatever is on this card. Now you'll notice that all images that were shot with DPR, dual pixel RAW, will actually have that listed in the bottom left hand corner as that file name for that actual image. We're gonna go ahead and select the image and go up to tools and start dual pixel RAW optimize. So the image you see here is one that I considered using as a thumbnail for my last video. You can watch that right here on the best kit lens ever made, the 24 to 105. Watch that video, but after this one. It's not a terrible image or thumbnail, but there was a few things I didn't like about it. One thing was the light fixture was kind of leading into the actual top of the camera or into the lens part. And the 24 to 105 Canon symbol was kind of soft or actually out of focus, which in the end wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world, but since this video was about the 24 to 105, I definitely wanted you to see that clearly. And my face, for the most part, is pretty sharp. My right eye was definitely sharp, but upon further review, we're going to zoom in on that left eye. It looks pretty good, but I think you can notice right away that the eye on the right, or my left eye, is a little bit out of focus. It's kind of soft. And that's where digital photo photographer comes in handy, or can. And I warn you, in a little bit, we're gonna get right in there, right into those follicles, we're gonna be as one. We're, we're gonna be closer than we've ever been. Mm -hmm. So one of three adjustments that you can do in this software is image micro adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and tick that box. This is what I'm going to enable in this image. I wanna fix as much as possible because potentially I wanna use this image, but I want that eye to be a little bit sharper. Doesn't have to be equal, but I wanna get some of that sharpness back. And that's where dual pixel raw comes into play. So you'll notice that there are two micro adjustments, a back and a front, each plus or minus five. And then there's a strength adjustment from zero to 10. It actually starts in the middle at five, which makes a lot of sense, that's fine. Because my head was turned slightly to the right and I focused on this right eye, the left eye was out of focus, just a tad. So what I wanna do is actually work on the front focus. This left eye was actually slightly closer to the lens. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this 
toggle bar or slider down to five. And I think it's already made a little bit of difference. And if I turn it off, it'll go soft again. Do you see that? It is super subtle. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. It's at front five, and I'm gonna turn the strength up all the way to 10 and see if I can gain just a little bit more sharpness back and focus. Okay, it's subtle. My eye's definitely not completely in focus, and you can see my eyebrow, it's still out of focus. However, if I were to turn this back off, watch the difference. On, off, on, off, on, off. I think you can see a little bit of difference. And watch my left eye. When I turn it on, remember we're coming a little bit to the front. And look at my right eye. It doesn't lose much sharpness at all. Off, on. We definitely get a little bit softer in my right eye as I continue to turn this off and on so you can see the difference. But I just want you to see how subtle it is, but yet for my left eye, it makes a pretty good difference. And in certain cases, that might mean everything to an image that you cannot go back and retake. And so, of course, there's a lot of things that you can do in Photoshop and things of that nature, but with one click and a couple slides of the slider, you can actually bring some of this back because Dual Pixel Raw is taking two images, right, with different exposure values that are combined and this software actually pulls it out. So I think that's pretty neat. I don't think this is gonna be the last of the improvements of this piece of software. So I actually think that this software has grand potential in the future to increase the depth of field and really bring back some of the sharpness in your exposures. So now that you back out of the image, everything that was in the plane of my right eye that was sharp, everything in front of it, just slightly, is now just a little bit sharper. And I think this is key when you're just trying to make a micro adjustment to make an image look just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. There was something off, but with this little tweak, you feel good about it. You just feel better about the image. Something else I wanna bring up, there are three options for you here. Image micro adjustment, bokeh shift, and ghosting reduction. I believe if I'm not mistaken, you can only choose one of these to be enabled and work on for your final image. Meaning you can't do image micro adjustment and have a bokeh shift. You just can't have that in that image. And for the sake of ghosting reduction, I don't have an image or a file that I can show you ghosting reduction, but the idea of it is to reduce ghosting because of refraction and flares as a result of light entering your sensor. Let's go ahead and unselect image micro adjustment and select bokeh shift. What I wanna show you about bokeh shift, essentially in the back where there isn't a bokeh or bokeh, what you're gonna have is a left or right shift in the bokeh. This may or may not make much sense, but what's really cool is if you look over my left ear or my ear that's exposed here on this image, that it's kind of like, it's kind of right on the line of my wall where it's painted white and gray. And what I would like is my ear to be a little bit more framed out or on the darker part of the image so it kind of stands out. So what I'm gonna do is move the slider to the right and move the bokeh to the right so then my ear is more centered or at least more on the gray part of the image in the background. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I'm just over that line and into the gray. Kind of cool, very subtle. So it allows you to move the image background just a tad to get it in that right spot. Again, it's a micro adjustment itself, but a pretty cool one, I think. So then you just click OK and congratulations. You've made some micro adjustments to your image. You haven't spent a lot of time on it. Of course, you can use fan favorites, Lightroom, and Photoshop to do a variety of different edits to your image. But this one is very specific to Canon's Dual Pixel RAW. And these are some of the micro adjustments that are possible. And I see a huge future for this. It's just going to take time to evolve. Hope you enjoyed this video on Dual Pixel Raw on the Canon EOS R. It's also on the RP and before this, it was on the 5D Mark IV. Let me know if you've used this feature at all and have there been any cases or scenarios 
by which it's helped you out and saved maybe an image or two. All right, that's going to do it. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. I would appreciate a like on this video. If you liked any part of it, comment down below. Love to chat with you. Ring that bell to notify you of new videos. I love you guys so much. Until the next one, peace. I mean, I don't always eat frosted mini weeds at night. Yep. That's good. <laughs> Sounds more like a race car than it does a plane. <laughs>